Hey, what's up everyone? I chose the background of the, the Wizard of Oz because, well, that, that just that's what I watched with Mama this morning. And I just, I really uh, started thinking about all of the little things that happen. The little things that take place. These small little, some would say, just... Some would say they don't really amount to anything, but to me they do. These changes or little, or uh, sometimes little interesting things that happen that just are put into place. For example, I decided to d just watch The Wizard of Oz out of nowhere this morning with Mama. And... I decided to watch it and we watched it for throughout the entire movie. And uh, I, um, interestingly enough, decided to look up the launch date of The Wizard of Oz. And it was on my granny's birthday. And a 1980 penny had appeared earlier that night, which my granny died at 80 years old. 80 years of age. And... Continuing on, at by the uh, by the end of the movie, I decided to look up when it released and when it re-released, and The Wizard of Oz re-released on the date we decided to watch the movie. That I decided, and we both felt compelled. Both Mama and I both felt compelled to watch The Wizard of Oz. It's like, it was like, well, we're doing this. We're watching this movie. No matter what, we're watching The Wizard of Oz. And sure enough, we did, and it happened to be the very date that it re-released on November 13th, 2009. Now that's incredible. I decided to look up The Wizard of Oz release date. And first of all, the first release was on my granny's birthday. August 25th, except Granny was born in 1925. And The Wizard of Oz debuted that day, but that was 80 years ago. And Granny was 80 when she passed away. And it re-released in the United States November 13th, 2009. What is today? November 13th, 2019. And look, it's 404 as I'm talking right now. And this, this morning, when Mama and I said goodnight... When I said goodnight, it was 333, and she had to point that out, that it was that it was uh, 333. She pointed that out. And it released November 7, 2005, which my granny died in 2005. She passed away in December of 2005. I've also had synchronicities regarding a beloved cat of ours that was not like a cat. He was more like a human. He was a family member. And he passed away... November 28th, 2000, or December, I am so sorry, December 28th, 2011. And this magazine we somehow mysteriously got three years before the release date of the magazine itself. And we got it in 2005. But then all of a sudden it turns out that the magazine released in December 28th, 2008. Then our cat passed away three years later after that. The magazine we got three years before, turns out, three years after the magazine actually released in the reality around us, he died. On that Wednesday. I'll never forget, he passed away on a Wednesday. And I was born on a Wednesday. And so many of these things just kind of, these little things, they say God has a sense of humor, and, and Kelly was talking with me about that, and, and how, you know, people don't realize that and when you think about the simulation situation, yeah, I can say that three times fast. Simulation situation, simulation situation, simulation situation. I can't help but say that every time. But when you think about, you know, the mathematical laws and principles that are set into making all of this take place, it's amazing, really, and how, how closely it resembles... 
something created, which obviously it was created. Everything. And obviously they're spirits. Obviously. My mama has felt situations where her loved ones that it felt as though they were a guardian angel or a spirit guide or whichever you'd like to say, which I know there's differences, but my mama has had situations like that. We've all had situations where it felt as though something was there. And there were true stories told by uh, uh, Kathy Lee this morning or yesterday, whenever, on uh, on uh, Today, the Today Show, whatever, whichever it is, they were talking about guardian angel situations, spirit situations, and things like that where God has had placed things to be and how God has a sense of humor and God winks or blinks or whatever. It's like the moment that you don't expect something to happen, that's when it happens. And these little things, the little things that happen are important. And, and people don't think about it, but they are important. And... And they are put into place. And uh, my mama was saying sometimes maybe things happen so that so that our reaction will be found out. What kind of reaction we're going to have to that situation. And it's almost like the soul's been placed into this body, into this life, programmed into it. And uh, you'd also think that science would also look into this whole phenomenon we experience to further their studies, but they don't. But my mama was actually, that has nothing, that's not what I'm talking about, but my mama was talking about how the little things, the things that God does, maybe to get you to, um, to see how you're going to react. But also, you know, some people would think, well, since he knows all what he knows the situation, what's going to happen to begin with. But we are given free will. We feel as though we're given free will. I mean, we it seems as though we have free will. So technically we're it's, I guess it's meant to see what kind of reaction we'll have and how we'll take a situation. And that's what Mama was stating. Maybe Maybe these things are, uh, maybe certain things and situations come up to see how we're going to react to them if we're going to do the right thing. And uh, that's true. That's definitely a large possibility. But these synchronicities are amazing. And then she said goodnight. She had to tell me, she told me goodnight at 333. At 333. And, and on November 13th, 2009, 10 years ago to this day, the Wizard of Oz re-released, and I just decided I just had to watch that movie and was compelled to look that up, look up when it released, and I had to watch the movie with Mama today. So, talk about synchronicities. It's really, life can be really fascinating. It really can. Anyway, peace signing out. My links are below for uh, my support link and my email. I love you all so much. Signing out.